Second foul. So the 16th contest for Frank Bruno after this is off to the United States for some sparring. And we learned today that he might even have a contest there in June. But this will certainly be his last one this season here. Up against Barry Funches, 34 years of age, giving away a stone in this contest. He's 14-7 to Bruno's 15-7. Actually, there doesn't look that much between them, but uh, that was the tail on the scales today at lunchtime. Been some criticism about the quality of opponent here, but uh, Terry Lawless, Bruno's manager, said that criticism is totally unfounded. That Funches knows his way around a boxing ring, well experienced, is mixed with good company. Although comes here with a recent record of only one win in six. Funches, when he's not boxing, is a postman in New York. Bruno, remember, never been beyond four rounds. The man who's taken him furthest is Stuart Lithgow, uh, the fighter from the northeast who took him the full four rounds. Lithgow retiring at the end of the fourth when they met in this ring a few months back. Useful jab from Bruno. Starting fairly quietly. Bruno reckons he's improved his jabbing somewhat since Floyd Patterson was here. Patterson, remember, was giving him some coaching before uh, Bruno met Scott Ledoux. Minute of the first round remaining. No real fireworks yet. Bruno taking a long look at this man, flicking the jab into his right eye there, and Funches didn't like that very much. Funches there, it seemed to me to be acknowledging the quality of Bruno's jab. A little nod from him. quick switch from head to body and I think it surprised Funches rather more than hurt him closing moments of round one and that solid jab going in right at the end well compared to what we've seen before from uh, Frank Bruno a relatively quiet opening round but again showing that really telling left jab there uh, which caught punches quite repeatedly into the face Bruno taking quite a lecture there between rounds from uh, Terry Lawless punches too taking a lot of instruction that you heard Punches in his time as uh, mixed with some pretty useful company. And he's showing here that he's come to attack. He's been in with uh, John Tate, who won the WBA version of the heavyweight title a year or two back. He lost to Tate, but uh, gave good account of himself. And he's also been in with Ronaldo Snipes, who boxed Holmes for the WBC title a couple of years ago too. Punches a stone lighter and at 34, 13 years older. And Bruno giving him quite a lot of respect, got caught by a right hand there. You might recall that uh, Bruno took a couple of very solid right hand punches from Winston Allen. Uh, one of his British opponents, a few fights back. Oh, 
menacing looking man coming forward, Bruno. You'll never experience sand being kicked in his face. And again, Francis gets a fairly useful left hand in this time. And so far, Terry Lawless's prediction looks to be right, that Francis is a man who knows his stuff and wouldn't be easy meat, as uh, some people were suggesting. Round two. Bruno stopped five men in this round. We're into the last half minute of uh, the second round. Now, two good punches going in there. And Francis is what? He's got his arm caught in the tape, in the ring tape there. And that could have been nasty. And I think it was rather sporting of Bruno to lay off there. A lot of fighters wouldn't have done. But certainly those were the two best punches that have gone in so far in this contest from Bruno. Right-left combination to the head, which unsteadied punches. And he got all tied up there for a moment, taking more instruction from Sid Martin, who calls himself a professor of boxing, been around the rings for a long, long time in the United States. This is where uh, Funches found himself in a little bit of trouble, slightly unbalanced by the right hand there. <laughs> and his right hand got caught up, and uh, a little laugh. Round three hasn't been so spectacular uh, in Bruno's previous 15 contests. He stopped only three men in this round. Remember, he's never been beyond four. He's been boxing so-called ten rounders now for some time, but uh, he's had absolutely no experience of going the ten. Punches at the moment looking a reasonably capable opponent. stopped him in his tracks there with a, a counter punch as he was going backwards punch is certainly not eating up the jab in the way that Scott Ledoux did All those little blows at close quarters though from Bruno, little, they look like just sort of little slaps, but they can sap an opponent's strength because he's got so much weight and power behind him. You see the jab there, it rocked punches. Well, Floyd Patterson didn't reckon Bruno delivered the jab correctly. If he ever does, people better watch out. But uh, he cer there certainly seems to be signs now that he's throwing it with a bit more body weight behind it. Close quarters, the 34 year old. Those crisp jabs going in again. What good punches they are. Scott Ledoux went back to the United States singing Bruno's praises. I dare say that Funches will be taking a few messages home too to the rated fighters over there. Bruno incidentally rated by the famed Ring magazine as the best young heavyweight prospect in the world.
bunch is uh, providing a fairly interesting test though for Bruno here as indeed Terry Wallace prophesied just before the contest and uh, Bruno will now be going into the fourth round for only the third time in his career second out round four well only America's Ron Gibbs and Stuart Lithgow another English fighter have gone into this fourth round uh, with Bruno before and now the 34 year old Barry Funches does the same will it last though if he takes more like that Good right hand by Funches. But he's giving away a stone here, remember? And it didn't really trouble Bruno. But it was delivered well. Now there's the right hand here. We haven't seen too many rights from Bruno so far. Bunch is still using the ring pretty well and looking fit. Now Bruno did well there to switch his attack and brought the uppercut into effect. as though Bruno will be enjoying a new experience shortly of actually going into the fifth round of a contest. Seeing his punching power, I hesitate to say things like that, mind you, and that was another useful jab. round four oh, a useful right hand right at the end there and punches walks back to his corner looking a pretty weary man with a slight swelling under the right eye but he's proven so far here to be the the best opponent so far that Frank Bruno has met it will shortly be going into new territory for Bruno round five Second out, round five. So round five it is. And in go those solid jabs again. Bruno's philosophy, despite uh, some of the criticism he takes about just stopping men quickly and not gaining the experience, that's what he wants to do. He just likes to stop fights. Down goes punches. It was the uppercut there that did it. And he might not make the count here. Just about recovered, but he doesn't look too healthy. In goes the right hand again, and the referee will stop it. And punches is all over the place. Punches the postman from New York has been dispatched but a new experience for Frank Bruno he went into round five 
and he had a little test from the veteran man from New York. Bruno wins 16 out of 16, and he'll shortly be off to the United States to learn a bit more. I think he learned a bit more here tonight.